In cricket crazy India, another sport is making surprising in inroads, and that's AFL. Most budding players from the subcontinent have never seen a live game and rely on videos of old matches to learn the rules. Across six states, several hundred of them are training regularly. The game is being developed by a dedicated handful of locals who had the chance to represent India in Australia as part of the AFL International Cup held here every three years in Melbourne. As Stephanie March reports from Kolkata, selection for this year's Indian team is underway. <laughs> The Tanga Cricket Ground in West Bengal is no MCG. In the most surprising of places, Aussie rules is taking off, but not everyone is sure what to make of it. This is a new game and I like watching it. There are a lot of games being played here, but this is unique indeed. Footy is a very good representation of India um, to the outsider. It seems like you don't have any rules, there's a fair bit of chaos, people are running around everywhere, there's a lot of screaming and yelling and shouting. Border match, Tigers versus Bombers. The man driving this new craze is Sudeep Chakraborty. One of my friends, fellow classmates from the school, you know, one day told me, why don't you come and try a new sport? And uh, there was a coach who had come down from the AFL for a month in Calcutta and slowly I started liking the skills, my height was an advantage there probably. In a couple of months, I became a fan. The coach who inspired Sadeep was Sydney Swans legend, Brett Kirk. Football just brings people together. Doesn't matter how tall you are, how small, what size you are. Um, there's always a position on the team for everyone. You're working towards this common goal. In 2008, after a few months of training, Sudip Chakraborty was selected to play for India at the International Cup in Melbourne. Initially we played the Samoans, the Kiwis, the Japanese who had been playing for years, they were big. They beat us up like anything. We were, New Zealand defeated us for 212 to nil, I believe. The Samoans beat us up and turned the entire hotel into a hospital. Despite the on-field drubbing, the trip changed his life. Saw a few games live at the Telstra Dome back then, MCG, and saw Buddy Franklin score his 100th live at the stadium. I don't think there's any better feeling, you know, electrifying feeling than that. Got goosebumps, and, and then I fell in love. After getting hooked on the game in Australia, he postponed his uni studies and travelled India at his own expense to promote the game. In 2011, Sudeep met up with former Sydney Swans captain Brett Kirk, who travelled to India as part of a documentary about the growth of Aussie rules overseas. He kept uh, encouraging me for the work that I've been putting in, and uh, that was truly emotional, I, I must say. It makes me feel really happy that, um, that I've helped, I guess, inspire someone, and um, I don't think so he didn't need too much inspiration because he always he already had this love and passion. We've got the cricket ovals ready and I think 80% of the footies in the world are made in India, in Punjab. So the cost is reduced for us by 10 times. There are now several hundred Indians playing Australian rules. And for many of these kids, it's more than just a bit of fun. You're not talking about kids that come from a middle class, upper class background. There's a few of those playing. Um, but really it's driven by kids from indigenous areas, um, slum areas in Mumbai. Um, so for them it's really about access to a sport. In his remote village in western India, 18-year-old Amaresh Mondal trains six times a week and the game gives him time away from hardship at home. <laughs> The feeling is great. People gather around to watch us play. Playing one of the world's most popular games is great. And when I go back home, people were really very excited and happy about this new game. Sudeep Chakraborty is struggling to raise money to take a team to Australia for this year's International Cup. But he hopes to scrape together enough so at least some players can visit the spiritual home of their favourite game. We cannot take all experienced players along. Every time we need some new ones to come and learn the new sport and come back and, you know, preach it further. I'm looking forward to, uh, to hopefully seeing them improve. And they've, they've um, had a, a few years in between, I'm sure under Sudip's guidance. Um, they will have trained hard and got together a good group.